So for today's video, we got a battery man deck profile. Now this is not competitive per se. You could tr tweak it around a little bit, make it a little bit faster. Um, could make it an OTK based deck. This one is pretty quick as it is, but I just really enjoy playing it. So I figured we'll profile it for you guys. Why not? So kicking it off, we got three microcell, your main searcher for the deck. Um, you can search out your triple A's, or not your triple, your double A's. You can search out your nine volts. Um, kind of helps you get into the deck a little bit faster. But you definitely want them at three. And then you got two nine volts. This is one of those things you could probably play three. The two has been really working out for me. It's been really consistent. Because um, after a certain point, it kind of almost gets dead. Because you don't want to have to waste your normal summon on it. And once you go through your micro cells, special summoning it from the deck, it kind of lags out a little bit. But with your micro cell and nine volt, it, like if you set micro cell and your opponent attacks it, you special nine volt. You search out like your charger or something, add it to your hand, and then your nine volt will go to the grave at the end of the turn. But you'll still have a two thousand meter on board for the rest of your opponent's turn. Then you got your triple double A's. This, one of the more important cards for the OTK. This with Infernal Reckless Summon and Short Circuit. Because then these guys will each be 3k if they're all on the field. Um, pretty self-explanatory. And then three chargers. When it's summoned, it lets you special summon a battery man from your deck. Or your hand. And then this card gains 300 attack and defense for each battery, uh, each thunder type monster on your field so he becomes a pretty big beater uh, one fuel cell you probably should play two or three of these i only have one so i'm only playing one and industrial strength you banish two battery men on your graveyard to special summon it pretty self-explanatory um that's it for the battery man portion of the deck shout out for the mat it's a really nice mat worlds for 2011 um then we got three thunder seahorses you dish this from your hand, add two level four light thunder monsters. So all your nine volts, your um, pretty much your nine volts. Helps you search out your nine volts. You can search out the other thunder seahorses. Um, yeah. One honest, you should, probably should play two. I think honest is still at two. So play two. I only have one, but... Then I'm playing one Swift Scarecrow and two Battle Faders. Um, for when you open dead with this deck, it's kind of nice to have one of these in your hand. You never know. But that's it for your monsters. For your spell cards, we got one Quick Charger, uh, one Recycling Batteries, and one Battery Charger. Now, yeah, you really don't need any more copies of the... It's pretty standard just the way it is. Two short circuits. You control three or more battery men. You destroy all cards on the field. Um, this deck can get your battery men out relatively quickly. So, One Infernal Reckless Summon. When a monster you control with 500 or less attack special summoned. And your opponent controls a, uh, controls a face-up monster. You can special summon the rest of the copies from your deck. So pretty much with your double A. And then you can just OTK your opponent if you have a short circuit in your hand. Um, one Monarch Storm Forth. It's at one. If it was at two or three, you play two or three. But it's at one right now. So you can get your chargers out. Uh, one Brain Control because we did just get this back. So that's a nice plus to have. One Econ. One Dark Hole. I hate Dark Hole. Play Regeki. If you have Regeki, play Regeki over Dark Hole any day. But it's always nice to have a Dark Hole. One pot of duality. You do special summon quite a bit in this deck. Um, between the chargers and the infernal reckless summons and the micro cells. So just the one pot of duality. Um, then you got triple MST because MST negates. No, it's just good to have MST. But that's it for your spell lineup. Pretty short spells. Um, traps. You got one pinpoint guard and... Two Call of the Haunted. You could play three Call of the Haunted if you wanted. I kind of like having the one pinpoint guard. It'll give you that one defense monster. 
but that's just personal preference. Uh, one Compulse and two T-Roars. T-Roar, definitely the MVP of the deck. There's a lot of times that that has stopped my opponents from killing me, and then I OTK him next turn. So that's definitely something you want to have. Um, don't really have an extra deck for this deck. There's really no need. I don't find myself going into a lot of stuff. And there's really no points where it's like, oh, well, I can go into this. So no extra deck for this. Just your basic 40-card deck. Um, it's definitely a fun deck to play. Fun deck for newer players. People just getting into the game. People that want to learn a lot of combo decks. This is probably the best place to start. The combos aren't that crazy. Um, guys, down in the comment section down below, let me know what you guys think about the deck profile. Give it a big thumbs up if you guys want to see more decks like this. I know it's not competitive, but it's still a good deck profile. And I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah.